I don't know what this is, but let's make Christmas bark. So first is to chop the chocolate, and then we're gonna put it in a bowl over simmering water. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? But yes. I don't know how to do that. I do. Good thing we got some seed. <laughs> go Sonia, go Sonia, go Sonia. That's on. How many grams do we need? 450. 450? Mm -hmm. Milk chocolate or dark? Probably dark is better. She's stirring the chocolate until it gets melty. I mean, it is melty. It's not completely melted. It, That's aren't not you a, a little real. too close? You know, melty is not a real word. It is a real word if you use it and it makes sense. Now we need roasted almonds. One and one fourth cups. We speak cups. And finally, we have this. We need three fourths cup of salted and roasted pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Who wants to stir? I want to stir. Who wants to stir? I want <laughs> I think it's very good. It's almost a healthy chocolate bar. This recipe is pretty easy because now you put everything here and then you just refrigerate it and when it's hard, it's ready. Do you think it will be good? I'm not too convinced to be honest. All those precious nuts. It's not about the nuts, it's about the peppermint which we can't do. Yeah, apparently. Sorry, I don't want toothpaste. Apparently the original recipe was like peppermint. I don't like mint. If you want the original recipe, peppermint bark, I recommend it. Sonia, now close the camera. Guys, sorry, she's gotta help me pour. Close. Yeah. Naturopath. It's Christmas. I guess this is it. Refrigerated. It's ready. Very hard. Have you tried it? Very good. You really think so? Yes. And I think you should cut it too little. Hello everyone, it's my first day back to work. Last vlog I made, it was my first day of vacation. Time flies. Uh, it's okay. Today I wanna tell you about my Christmas holidays and about my goals for 2021. I wanna make a simple vlog, we'll talk. I'm about to have my first lesson of 2021. See you later. Let's talk because that's the purpose of this video. First working day of 2021. How do I feel? How were the holidays? Okay, where do I start? The holidays. As you know, last time I said that I was worried that I would keep working throughout the whole vacation. Well, I didn't. I didn't. The first day I worked and then the next day it was the 24th and then the 25th and then the 26th so I really didn't want to work and by the 27th I was already used to not working and I decided that I didn't want to so I didn't do literally I stopped having interviews I stopped thinking about work I stopped cooking like usually I cook breakfast lunch dinner I didn't even work out well mainly because it was raining all the time so I couldn't go out for a run and I didn't want to work out at home I really miss my gym because working out in my house for me it's just not the same I don't have the same motivation I don't feel like sweating and really like trying so hard in my living room in front of the TV while I'm watching Netflix but anyways some days I woke up at noon I went to sleep at 3 a.m. every time that's what I love. Okay, the holidays went better than I thought because every day we went somewhere. During this lockdown, you could still see one family pretty much per day. And so that's what we did. A couple of friends, a couple of aunt and uncle, my mom and her boyfriend, my dad and his girlfriend. Of course, always careful, always far, always with a mask when not eating. And overall, social life was good. But even though the holidays went well, they vacated 
meditation was sometimes a little depressing like the normal Sonia I think I would have gone somewhere I think for the first you know 23rd 4th 5th 6th I would have stayed in Italy but then I would have gone to like Amsterdam for five days Poland you know and instead I remember when was it on the 29th I woke up at noon it was raining I was like oh Okay, it's my day off. I didn't want to work and I didn't want to do anything, but I had nothing to do. So sometimes I felt sad, but overall the holidays went better than I thought. Because I don't want to lie to you. Even though I don't hate my job, today I woke up feeling a little sad. When am I gonna have fun again? When will I be able to go somewhere? When will I take some more time off to actually do something fun? I don't know. I don't know when I'll be allowed to travel. I don't know when I will be able to have a party with my friends. In 30 days, less than 30 days, it's my birthday. What will I be able to do? I woke up feeling a little bit sad and also it's so gray and cold. And I don't want to complain because sometimes I also feel very motivated and energetic, but sometimes I'm like, at least during these days, even though I couldn't go anywhere, I had a, you know, sort of social life. It's something that I didn't have. Actually, I haven't had, except for this like short break for so long. And it was so nice to spend some time with people. Okay, with restrictions and rules and all these things, but whatever, I don't care, I'll take it. <laughs> and now back to isolation. I don't have an excuse to see my friends and I don't know lack of excitement but i do feel motivated and i have a lot of dreams for my 2021 and as i did last year i wrote my goals for 2021 i want to show you i talked about it on my italian podcast italian breeze but if you follow sonia candy i'm here for you in english in 2020 i wanted to teach no more than five hours a day five days a week because you know teaching is like really is hard work five lessons a day with all the preparation and corrections and blah 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 it's more than five hours a day plus i have two youtube channels you know it's like probably like at least eight hours a day well i didn't meet that first goal but i got closer so i'm happy and proud of myself because in 2019 i used to teach something like eight ten hours a day too much too much i was always so tired and unhappy because that's that's just too much and this year i gradually went down to seven six feeling way better feeling way happier and i feel like my lessons are also better not only because i gained experience but also because i'm more rested and i have more energy so close next goal was make 2000 euros a month after taxes no i didn't reach this goal because of taxes because you know if i didn't have to pay taxes yeah but but it's okay i'm not complaining about money i'm not rich but i'm not poor i have a house i am able to buy presents for my loved ones i haven't reached my ideal salary which is two thousand a month it's not too much it's not like i want ten thousand but still still i'm happy third goal was reach fifty thousand subscribers on sonia candy no I'm far from that and it's a little bit as you know it's a little bit confusing because last year I had like 10,000 subscribers and this year I have 13,000 subscribers like why it's not like I didn't try I really tried I posted a video a week for a whole year working with a full-time job is it's not always easy the only thing the one thing that I'm like but actually Sonia that that's good I really like my community my subscribers you're active you always interact with me you leave comments you watch all of my videos so I'd rather have 13,000 subscribers but good subscribers than like 50,000 but they're like empty like they don't watch my videos they don't care about me they don't interact with me so but still 50,000 active like you guys like that would be ideal fourth goal was reach $500 a month on my Italian time patreon that's changed we didn't reach that goal and so we decided to change it completely now our patreon is only like for people who want to support us and everything is free and on YouTube next was have a trip to Japan you all know how it went well actually i had like the blue ones that were like secondary goals make my first sponsored video on youtube i did it i did it yes i had like three meditate and exercise constantly i didn't meditate constantly i exercise constantly i 
am not mad at this even though I didn't reach all of my goals I have my list for 2021 it's a little bit different from last year's list number one improve my work-life balance that's priority right now I want to improve my work-life balance and I think that I'm on the right path because I've already done it a lot in, during my 2020 I worked a lot but compared to 2019 better 2021 I want to be even happier because why not why not we only have one life and I do want to work and I like working and I wouldn't want to stop working but I want to feel even happier so maybe five lessons a day that my goal but not only maybe like even extra stuff you know when I have a new project I'm happy and motivated so I want to do that it's a little bit vague but at the end of the year I think I will be able to tell if I overall improved my work-life balance or not number two I want to start the first prototype for my English Italian school so I know that I won't be able to open and start my English school in one year it takes time but I can start thinking about it I can start thinking about like what would it be like if I had a website what would it look like I can start talking to professionals for like you know how to improve the tax situation and like hiring people how would it work you know just like lay the foundations goal number three I'm back at it reach 40,000 subscribers on Sonia Candy. I know! Sonia, what makes you think that you'll get to 40,000 subscribers next year? I don't know! Sometimes YouTube is unpredictable. You just need one good video, two good videos, and you might have a lot of subscribers. Like, I don't know! We'll see! Number four, grow Italian time. So you know that we have another channel, Italian Time, when where we have a podcast, Italian Breeze, and here I wrote that I would like to get to 10,000 subscribers or start daily podcasts. You know, I just want to put effort and grow that channel. Next, write an ebook. Yes. I started working on this project, then I got so busy I had to stop, but I really want to do this! I want to write an ebook where I teach you some nice tips and tricks for Italians who want to learn English. Like, that's something I want to do, I want to have my product with a nice layout and some pictures and uh, I want to do it. Sixth, go to Japan. I don't know if this will be possible, but this is just the beginning of 2021 and things are getting better and I mean, I think it's possible. Go to Japan. Last, work on my health. I've always worked on my health, maybe not always, but like I started when I was 23. So started working out, started cooking more and now I really want to like keep working out, of course, three times a week, but also focus on this new diet that I've been doing. Just keep it up. Anyways, I said it. I set my goals here in public. Everybody, y'all know, so you can hold me accountable. Wait, am I sure I wanna do this on camera? Anyways, I told you that I would film while Brian was opening his Christmas present, so enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and really I do mean it when I say that even though my channel is not big, I have very, very good subscribers, I mean it. So I hope that this was not boring. See you next week. I'm back. Passo due, è così grande, cosa può essere? Inizia da quello. Da questo? Sì. Ci ha messo un'ora per incartare questo. Ce l'ha fatto papà. È una culla? Ah, ok. Penso di aver capito. L'hai capito che è? Sì, perché c'è scritto electronic drums. <ride> sì, la batteria elettronica, perché lui suona la batteria. Che bravo, c'è il video che Beh, sei contento? Sì, contentissimo. Voglio vedere voi. Ci siamo. E va quasi. montata. Questo è un regalo accessorio. È lo sgabello. Ah, ok, bellissimo. Perciò ho scritto tanto. Ma serio?